I was very happy to present the data of a Peace One Phase Free Trial at the ESMO Congress in Paris. Uh, the, the background for Peace One is that for a very long time, the standard of care for patients with de novo metastatic prostate cancer was under the impression therapy alone. Uh, as we probably all know, it has changed in the last five years or so. The Staxal was shown to improve survival, then abiratron with, together with some other agents, uh, next generation hormonal agents such as enzalutamide or apalutamide, and then radiation therapy directed to the prostate primary was also shown to improve overall survival. Before PS1, what we didn't know was whether we should combine all these treatments together, or at least some of them. And this is really why we did uh, the trial. So basically, the design of PS1 is a two by two design, large phase three trial, 1200 men have been randomized, and uh, patients received standard of care. Uh, most patients uh, received androgen deprivation therapy plus the stark cell as the standard of care, and they were randomized to receive either this alone or combined with abiratron or combined with radiation therapy or both abiratron and radiation therapy on top of standard of care with ADT plus the stark cell. Again, it's a two by two design. And we are looking at two co-primary endpoints. One is not mature as I'm speaking. This is about the role of radiation therapy on top of an intensified systemic treatment. Uh, and I'm saying it's not mature because for the radiation therapy question, we are focusing on patients with low volume disease. So we will need to be patient and uh, look for longer follow-up before we have enough events uh, and before we can analyze the trial for the radiation therapy equation. But we have indeed enough events to look at the other co-primary endpoint of the trial, which is uh, the efficacy of aberratron when added on top of androgen deprivation therapy and the stark cell with two endpoints, radiographic progression for survival and overall survival for these patients. Before the summer, we reported the first data from the trial, which was about radiographic progression for survival when abiratron is added on top of ADT plus the stack cell for these men with de novo metastatic prostate cancer. And indeed, our PFS data were significantly and clinically markedly uh, improved with aberratron uh, used in this triplet combination. Uh, the median uh, time to uh, progression, radiographic progression or death was two years in the control arm, and it was improved to 4.5 years in the experimental arm when aberratron is added. So two and a half additional year without progression or death for this patient, which obviously is huge difference. Now here at ESMO, we updated the data and we were able to analyze overall survival. And I'm happy to say that we showed that not only RPFS is improved, but also overall survival with a 25% reduction in the risk of death, favoring the triplet combination with ADT plus dostaxel and aberratron for patients with high volume disease. Uh, this translate into approximately uh, an 18 month absolute difference in overall survival, which is of course big for these patients. For men with low volume disease, we'll need a longer follow-up before the medians are rich. Uh, of course, most of these men were still alive when we performed the analysis. So this was achieved in a context where side effects do not seem to be an issue. We saw uh, the traditional side effects associated with aberratron, investral, hypertension, hypokalemia, and transaminase increase. Uh, no real difference regarding other side effects, so no synergistic uh, um, toxicity, if you will, when added to uh, chemo-hormonal therapy, which is, of course, very reassuring to our patient. Uh, so based on, on this background, I think uh, we now have a new standard of care 
at least for patients with high volume disease with ADT plus the stag cell and aberratrin. So based on this data from piece one, I think we should change all the standard of care, at least for men with the novo uh, metastatic uh, disease and a high volume, and ADT plus the stack cell plus aberratron should be proposed to these men when they're fit enough for chemotherapy. The good thing is that those drugs are mostly generic, uh, almost everywhere on the planet, and aberratron will soon become generic as well in Europe. So this should become very cheap for either the society, the insurance, or the patient if he has to pay out of pocket. This is, this, I think, very important. Now, looking uh, forward to the future, I think we should stop looking at the novo metastatic prostate cancer as just one disease, and uh, we should ask different questions according to the biology of the, of the disease. For example, for men with BRCA2 or BRCA1, alteration, we should wonder whether we, uh, we, uh, a PARP inhibitor should be introduced early in the course of the disease, and some trials are starting asking this data. Also, for patients with oligometastatic disease, we should also uh, evaluate whether local treatment towards the metastasis with radiation therapy should be used, and again, randomized trials are underway. PSMA targeting should be also tested. And for men with a P10 loss, we should also go for AKT inhibition in randomized trials. So all this is about to start or has already started, which is great for the future because these men are still dying and we really want to continue the progress.